Welcome back to Prison Architect, everybody. I hope you're having a good one. You've joined me as my prisoners are once again trying to beat every sense of life out of each other, which is great. It's great. They keep doing this. My guards keep getting injured. My prisoners keep getting injured. But it certainly keeps things exciting here in the old prison is what it does. Now, between episodes, I have been busy. I've been doing a little bit of plan. What are you doing? What are you? Oh, my God. This guy's making a break for it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've been busy. I've been planning a new cell block up here, which I think would be kind of fantastic to have. The only problem with doing this is that, well, we already have everyone trying to beat the life out of each other already. So a completely new cell block is a slightly terrifying concept. So I think we'll start by building this whole thing down here. And what this is going to be is essentially 10 new cells, another shower. And then what I was thinking this bit would be, because it's sort of in that staff area, is this could essentially be maybe an armory and security area. That's why we kind of got the double doors going on. And we could go further and put, you know, an extra little bit of wall and then an extra set of doors for an armory. But I don't know if we need to go that far. My point being, I, I want to get an armory and I want to start getting my guards certified with tasers because I do think that's going to help a little bit. There's also, if I remember right, one of the grants is to train my guards in something. Advanced protection, yes. The disarming certification. Now, to do that, we're going to need to go to programs and we're going to need to see what we can do here. So the disarming certification requires security and education. This requires taser rollout. So if I go into bureaucracy, we're going to be looking, I guess, for education. That's kind of a big deal. We also need remote access because that's going to give me automation on my doors. And we're going to need the armory, I suppose, and surveillance. So we'll spend a good chunk of change researching all of that. And we can also go ahead and spend a good chunk of change uh, building all of this. So I want to go ahead and put, I guess, some foundations there. I want to put some foundations here. And I'm going to put some foundations here as well. And we'll go ahead and get that whole space built up. It's going to be a whole thing. And uh, I suppose what we should also do is go ahead and demolish these walls here since this storage room is now going to be you know shrunk a little bit and turned into a bit of a hallway so we'll get that all done i do want to prioritize that work because i have got my uh, workers out you know getting me some wood here from the forest so i want to prioritize this so it gets done in a good amount of time and i'm also thinking i should probably go to doors and throw a double staff door on there just to make sure that if a prisoner does get through this door they have one more to get through before they you know actually manage to escape which we kind of don't want them doing so while my workers are doing all this let me just have a quick look at grants have i taken i've only taken two at the minute so what would i want to take out i suppose the disarming certification honestly probably isn't a bad idea reforming gang members into ex-gang members that is sort of the point of prison architect gangs and that is something i'd like to do i just don't know that we're there yet uh, a protective custody sector seems a little silly and then dog handlers dog patrol i guess armed guards on patrol as well that seems with how hot the prison is right now i don't know that we want to do that i've got to be honest that that doesn't seem like a good idea and then three prisoners to work in the kitchen. Should we train them to work in the kitchen? I guess we could. I guess we might as well have a go at actually training them to work in the kitchen. Because we do have three in laundry and three in the cleaning cupboard. So if I go to, I guess, programs. And we go to prison programs. We do somewhere have, yeah, kitchen safety and hygiene. So if we start that and edit the schedule, we can do it here. And I guess we'll see what happens. So if I go to deployment, or if I go to logistics and prison labor, we can go one, two, three. Oh. So I don't actually have to have prisoners working there. I just need to have them assigned to work there. That seems a little easy. I'm going to be honest. That seems... That was very, very easy. Okay. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. I can't... All right. 
Uh, let's do the license plate thing because that is something I was talking about. I want to turn this space into a workshop. Oh, wow. This has been built already. That was so much quicker than I was expecting. So I guess what we do is just go ahead and copy all of this. Since it's not too expensive, we'll slap it right about there. We can go to doors and throw a double staff door onto that spot. We can then maybe go and do something like a large jail door right about there. And I'm going to do it here. No, not there. Uh, right there as well with a staff door right here. So that's going to be the armory. This is going to be security. This is all going to be nice and secured. And that's hopefully going to be good for us. And while that's all going on, since we do have a good amount of money, let's also go in and start putting in the floor tiles for this whole area, since I think that would be a pretty solid idea. Uh, so we'll just bring them around all of this. We'll bring them sort of down through here, straight across here, through all of these spaces. And of course, underneath all of the, uh, I guess, all the doors and the sides here as well. And straight through solitary, which has already happened. Okay. So that's all been situated. I think all the floors can go in there as well. Uh, we can absolutely go and say that we want to have, I guess, just brick walls for all of this. Uh, so we'll do brick walls there. We'll do brick walls there, and that'll be fine. And I suppose in terms of things I want to prioritize, I actually want to prioritize all of that over everything else. And I want to prioritize this wall right here over everything else as well. So we'll get that all done as quick as we can. We'll get security in here. We'll start getting the door servos in here as soon as they're actually researched, which they have been, which is lovely. So that's good. We have that going for us. Surveillance will take time. Prison labors, I think farming is... Farming is probably something we should go into. Forestry, forestry labor as well is something we should go into. There's a lot of things we should go into, is what I'm realizing. I realize I need to go in here and bring all of our power through this space as well. So let's bring some cables uh, sort of around everything. We do need to add another, another door up there as well. We're going to want to bring power through this space too. And my power plant's doing okay, so I don't need to worry too much about it having some issues uh we'll of course bring the pipes i guess something like that it's a little bit different to how we've done them before actually you know what we'll just bring them straight up just to sort of match everything we've done there i don't think we're gonna need to bring pipes down through this space so i think they're probably fine sort of being how they are right now so we'll not stress too much about it but what i will do is of course bring the small pipes underneath everything here so that the sink and the toilet actually happen to work you know, I really do need to, now that I think about it, oh, I also need to do this as well. Hold on a second. A uh, nice large pipe straight through. Why did I do sol- Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I am an idiot. I've copied solitary when I, what I should have done is copy the shower block. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is tear apart, tear apart solitary. And we're going to have to put another shower block in here at some point. But what I'll do is, at the very least, uh, I can put the pipes in here for the showers. And then I don't need to do it later. So something like this. And then it's straight across this part. It's straight across that part. It's a little difficult to remember exactly how this goes. But I think it's something like uh, that right there. And something like that right there. So we'll get all that done. We don't need the secondary set of solitary cells, but that's fine. Uh, like I said, we'll get all that done. We'll get uh, ooh, these floors in here. Kind of cool. Using the cargo floors was a good idea. Actually quite pleased with that. Oh, I hear fighting. Oh, hello. Is that guard running away? No, he beat the man and the man. Oh, no. The, oh, my. Oh, my God. He killed my guard. For God's sake. Really? What are they not happy about? Hold on a minute. We need to look at their needs because I haven't been doing this. Hold on a minute. What, what, am, I, what, what am I looking at here? Uh, prisoner needs bladder, sleep, uh, food isn't very good, hygiene isn't very good, exercise isn't very good. A lot of that stuff is critical. I need to look at my medium, so, uh, well, all prisoners. Clothing isn't very good. They're concerned about it, desperately need it fulfilled, furious they can't meet that need. I don't understand how they can't meet the need, though. They have toilets in their cells. That's a weird one. And then sleep, apparently, they can't do either. I mean, it is sleep time, and a lot of these guys are just wide awake. 
Like, this guy needs everything right now, I think. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I'm, it's, it's, it's difficult to tell. I don't remember what exactly these overlays mean. Like, there's a toilet right there. There's... I... I hmm... I just don't know. I, I'm not sure why they're having so many issues with, like, sleeping. I'm really not sure. And then these guys down here in solitary are having some pretty major issues as well, but... Whatever. I'll tell you what. Let's go to objects. Let's go to light. Let me put some lights into this space, into this space. And we'll sort of uh, throw them there, and there, and there, and here as well, just to brighten all of this up. Uh, we need lights in all of these spaces as well. So make sure it's nicely lit up. So here and here, basically every single corner is uh, is going to have a whole bunch of lights. Just to make sure we can see what we're doing. Uh, then down here is the same story. We can do some lights uh, here and here as well. And we'll do some lights here, I guess there. Just to make sure it's nice and bright. And there as well. And here. So that should keep the place nice and bright. Uh, like I said, this is going to be security, this is going to be armory. So if we go to rooms and we search for security, it's this one. And if we go to rooms and search for armory, it's this one. Now both those rooms are going to need things. Security, for example, if we go ahead and search, it needs an office desk. Not a... <laughs> not this. Uh, it needs an office desk. I think it can have a fancy desk as well if you really wanted it to, which... Uh, I mean, I don't see why not. I don't see why we wouldn't go for some nice fancy desks. So let's do... I don't know. Let's let's do, I guess, this and this. We'll do a couple of desks right there. We'll give them, like, a nice set of chairs, and that'll be great. This also needs a filing cabinet or a fancy filing cabinet. So we'll do, like, three filing cabinets right there. And that's the security space. And then we can also throw a door control system in here, which honestly, we're going to need a few of these. So, let's do... Let's do two of them for now. And that'll be alright. We can throw some servos in there at some point. The swivel chair probably would have looked a little better on these, to be completely honest. Let me, let me do swivel chairs instead, which I think I can get away with. Yeah. So, swivel chairs for those desks, and that'll be alright. And then the armory is going to need... Weapon racks, guard lockers, and tables. So the guard lockers can go... I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll do 10. And that should be alright. And then what we can do is... Can I put like a small table in here? I can. Uh, so let me do a small table and a small table. Let's do a big table down the middle if we really wanted to, which might look a bit weird. So what we'll do instead is two big tables sort of making that uh, that corner space there. And what else do we need? A weapons rack? So weapons racks are one, two, three. That should be all right. It's it's kind of expensive to do uh, to do weapons racks like that, but that should be all right. That should be a decent uh, armory. So we'll get that all built. We'll go ahead and prioritize it as well, because I do want the door control systems in here sooner than later. And in theory, we should have the ability to get that all going. We also need power, now that I think about it. So let's bring that down here. And then, like I said, we'll have the ability to put door control systems on just about everything. Now, my prisoners are apparently going hungry. That's... that's weird to me. Although we do only have three cooks. What if I hire two more? Do they, like, automatically go and do stuff? Because it seems like right now they're just sort of... Oh, you're preparing to teach. Okay. Oh, and I guess you're learning? Okay, we have a couple of them learning. Not bad. Not bad at all. We might want to throw another cooker in there. Might not be a bad idea. Just throw it right there. See how they get on. Maybe another fridge. Just to see if, you know, that helps them out a little bit. Just make the kitchen a little bit better. Maybe we can finally start feeding them. That'd be great. This room has been claimed by a gang and is too dangerous for our workmen. Evict them from the room. What? Hold on a minute. This room, security here, has apparently been claimed by a gang. Alleged. Hold on a minute. So if I go to if I go to flooring and I go to cargo and I try this, this is the room that's. Hmm. I find that hard to believe. Can I have a quick look at like intelligence, real quick, and gangs? So what is this? 
There's there's no guards, boiling points. Overall temperature. There are a few things that are out of control when it comes to making our prisoners happy and calm, like their personalities. Okay, so needs are pretty rough as well. So needs are, are in a bad way, is, is what we're discovering here. So, security menu. So, security menu. Prisoner type is dangerous. Restrict access. That's kind of cool that you can you can do all of this. I like that a lot. Uh, in terms of gangs, though, we have the jackals and the bone breakers. So, there's two members and one kill with the bone breakers. And there's two members and no kills on the jackals. Now, in terms of rooms that they've claimed, I... I don't, I don't know that they, I mean, there's certain things they can't claim. They've claimed this one, for example. That's, that's fair enough. They've claimed this one, apparently. But apparently they've also claimed this one. Which is weird to me. That they've apparently claimed that one. Do we have anyone that's willing to be a CI right now? Doesn't necessarily look like it, so. Fair enough. I don't think, uh, I don't think anyone's willing to. You know, put their life in the line to be an informant. Well, I guess I guess that is what it is. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is I want to go ahead and connect the power here so we can actually get these door control systems working. And it does look like the gangs haven't claimed this room anymore, which is good. I was a little concerned that my security room had sem somehow been claimed by a gang. And then I guess we're just waiting for all of this to be completed as well, so that's probably fair enough. So the prisoners have all come back to the canteen and it does look like we have more food in the canteen than we have had previously. So feed all prisoners 35% right now. It's still 35%. It seems like we're just, oh my God, they just killed a guard. Okay. And they just killed another one. And I think they're about to kill another one. That's a, that's a knife. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, all right. Oh boy. Um. We might have a problem. We might have a problem. We, uh... <laughs> we, uh... We, we might want to lock down the prison a little bit here. And I need all guards to the canteen now. So, uh, yeah, because there's, there's a bit of a riot going on. And I have a funny feeling that sending all of my guards there might have been a bad idea. <laughs> might, have been, might not have been a good plan. I'll be honest. We might need the... <laughs> We might need the riot police. I, I think we might need, might need a SWAT team. So if uh, if they wouldn't wouldn't mind getting in here, that'd be kind of great. Because a lot of my guards have uh, mysteriously turned up dead. So can I like select these guys? Where are they? There they are. You're right, fellas. Kind of need you to get through there. Is what I need you to do. Oh my god. Oh boy. What do you want, chief? The prison is acting out. They seem to have reached their boiling point. Perhaps we aren't doing enough for our prisoners. Make sure their needs are satisfied. Improve their living conditions and give them something to do. Check the boiling point intelligence menu for more information. Yeah. You know, I did get the feeling. I have a, I have a feeling that um, things might have got a <laughs> little bit out of hand today. Um, definitely definitely have that feeling let's let's uh end the lockdown this um yeah this this could have this could have gone better are my doctors dead i don't see them that's 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 i don't know where they are <laughs> don't uh wait why is this all broken did they wait why is this broken hold on why have we not got pipes in there can we, can we fix that, please? We kind of need those toilets to be working. All right, so how many guards? I have 11 left. I have five left. Didn't we have like 15? <laughs> Didn't we have like 15 guards at one point? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Let's, let's get some guards back here. See how that goes. Uh, maybe we dismiss the SWAT team since we don't quite need it anymore. And, uh, you know... You know what might be a great idea once the guards have sort of figured things out a little bit, a little bit? Might be a good idea to, uh, you know, look into how we're feeding our prisoners. Because we're doing a pretty bad job right now. <laughs> I've got to be honest. We're not, we're not doing too good. 
Uh, I am, however, going to bring this up to 30 inmates because we can support 30 now. And I might want to look at patrols and just see about expanding them ever so slightly. So uh, this magenta one, for example, uh, let's, let's, you know, get rid of it a little bit if it's uh, if it's willing to let me do that so i want to get rid of all of this guy and i want to bring that magenta patrol sort of just around everything so just a bit like that uh in fact you know i don't want to do that i'm actually going to keep the magenta patrol going like this and i'm going to do if i can another one that sort of comes down this way and around like so and we can do another blue patrol that sort of goes around this entire space right about here. And then we can throw, you know, a short magenta patrol here as well. So that'll give us a decent little patrol area for all of this. In terms of deployment, uh, we're going to want two guards on this and one guard on this. In terms of deployment here, we want one here. And in terms of this block, we don't have any. Uh, we don't have any. And then we have, like one here one there maybe one on the magenta as well and that should keep us pretty good so that'll give us some guards sort of patrolling all of those areas right so we'll have guards moving around maybe we want more guards in the canteen when they're eating as well because it is getting a little bit out of hand but that should keep us all right in terms of patrols but what i do want to do and what is kind of important is going in here and demolishing essentially everything so we want to demolish all of this and i want to go to dismantle object and i want to dismantle all of this as well so i do want to prioritize it because i do want to get more showers over there i want to make sure that you know everybody is uh, is able to get a shower essentially so that all looks to be gone so if i go into quick build and i go to clone i want to just grab the showers and I want to put them right about there. We'll go ahead and prioritize that. And it should be good. It shouldn't be too expensive to do that either. And then it, actually, now that I think about it, in terms of deployment, this is the shower time. So we want to have two guards assigned to the showers as soon as they're built. Again, to make sure that we're able to maintain the peace. Because if there's one thing we haven't been able to do thus far, it's maintain the peace. Oh, now this time we've managed to feed 68% of the prisoners which is better than we fed yesterday so that's not bad i am thinking though that while they're out and about 73 percent by the way i want to do a shakedown we're going to shake down everything we're going to search everywhere and everyone and start trying to get contraband out of this prison because there's apparently a lot of it and that is something i'm pretty sure i did say that we're going to have more contraband in this prison i think that was one of the mutators so of course, that's going to be a thing. But I do think trying to get it out of here, start taking the knives back, start searching the cells and doing all that stuff, I think it's going to be good. I think it's probably a really good idea to try and get some things back and get some things under control here. Now, while that's going on, let me very quickly go to doors and large jail door. And let me put one right about there, because we do want another door on this cell block. And I guess what we should also do is look at utilities and start getting door servos. So let's slap a servo there, there, and there, and that'll be good. Uh, we can go ahead and slap some door servos, I guess, here and here for the canteen. We can do the same for these rooms down here. And then I guess we probably want to do it for the yard as well. Although, to be honest, there's enough guards going around the yard at any one time that we probably don't need to go too crazy there. Uh, but what I'll do... Oh, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Do we want to put... Do we want to put servos on all of these doors for the yard? Is that maybe a bit much? It might be. Especially considering my staff do have keys to everything, so... I don't know that we need to go too crazy with it. I think we'll stick with the servos that I've put around for the time being. Because it's obviously, you know, the cell block and, uh, of course, the showers as well. We can do servos for solitary. And that's probably enough. 
that really is probably more than enough door servos just to speed things up a little bit here and there oh no this is interesting we've just got a whole bunch of prisoners in here and i think that's what, what are, who are you why do you have like a blue outfit you are you are one of my prisoners but for some reason oh this guy brought drugs in all right i see how it is and we've just had, what who what who died and how where are you what what oh for god's sake he was oh he was murdered of course he was of course he was warren green over here all right we need to have a look at intelligence again so gang oh we have a new gang oh boy the vipers have arrived all right okay <laughs> that's that's great that is great we've got another one all right uh do we have anyone willing to be an informant doesn't look like it and then boiling point i just let me read this again so there are a few things that are out of control out of our control when it comes to making our prisoners happy and calm like their personalities or the number of convictions they have the angrier each prisoner gets the higher prison temperature will be and the more likely they will misbehave uh, currently, you have 18 prisoners who can't satisfy their needs. Please ensure they have access to rooms or objects to be able to satisfy their needs. Now, looking into prisoner needs, hygiene seems to be a pretty high one, which is curious. Uh, luxuries kind of seem to be something they do want. Uh, clothing seems to be an issue. It seems sleep is a bit of an issue. Food is getting better. Safety isn't great. It's just, it's interesting to me, I guess, that exercise is a bit of a problem. Hygiene is a bit of a problem. Family and recreation are a bit of a problem. Maybe we need a better, a better laundry room. I'm wondering if that's, that's kind of where we're at right now, is the laundry room's not big enough and thus not good enough to deal with the size of prison that we have. Alternatively, I could just put them to work in a workshop, which I've been saying for a hot minute I want to build, so let's just uh, take a quick look and see what we can do with that in a second. Uh, but I also want to have a look at the yard here, because I guess maybe we do want to put more, you know, exercise things out in the yard. So a couple of punching bags might not be a bad idea. You know, tire apparata, apparatus, apparatus, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Tire apparatus might not be the worst thing in the world i mean they can climb over it which is probably just going to train them how to escape but it's more exercise at the very least so that's got to be good right they've got to hopefully be happy about that i would hope they're happy about it and i guess we could put like a training dummy in here so they can learn how to fight as well which again seems counterintuitive i've got to be honest it doesn't seem like a good idea to encourage them to fight but well, here we are. You know, I will say that building a workshop is all well and good, but what I'm realizing is that with how often my prisoners are murdering each other, it's probably not going to be all that efficient. Because by the time someone gets trained to work in the workshop, they're probably going to be murdered, which isn't exactly what we're looking for. Uh, now, let's see. We have 17 prisoners... We have 29 that have this need. This is this is what's weird to me, is they need sleep, right? It says they need sleep, but there's so many of them that are just sort of waltzing around chilling. They're not sleeping at all, and I'm just, I don't understand why. Although I have just remembered that I did say at one point I wanted to put, was it the soft pillow on, like, all of their beds? So I would like to do that. I think that'd be a great idea to try and cheer them up a little bit. Just give them a better pillow and maybe a better night's sleep and then, you know, maybe they'll be more encouraged to go to sleep and not murder each other. Because I know, I mean, me, me personally, I'll be honest, I, so I've talked about this in the channel a little bit here and there, but I am one of the owners and managers of a Grand Theft Auto roleplay community, right? And it's a lot of fun. Uh, I probably will completely forget to put a link in the video description, but you'll find it on my Twitter somewhere, twitter.com slash conflictnerd. Uh, long story short, the reason I'm bringing that up is because we recently put a rule in place for that community, which is specifically for staff and specifically says that none of us are allowed to look at support tickets 
uh, within two hours of waking up in the morning. Because I know for me, I get really grumpy. <laughs> I get really, really grumpy in the mornings. And the last thing I want to do is open a open Discord and be like, oh man. Here we go again. <laughs> so, yeah, I've had, we've had to put that rule in place. And it's, uh, it's worked out quite well, to be honest. Actually, uh, it's actually worked out quite well. We've all, we've all stuck by it for the time being. Whether or not that continues is, is a whole other thing. But for now, we've stuck by it. Uh, now, we can do up to eight jobs in here. We'll go ahead and do eight jobs. In terms of deployment, this is going to be a shared space. And then what I want to do as well is I want to go to programs and I want to start getting workshop safety induction going. So if we edit that schedule, we can have workshop safety. Honestly, I'm going to move it towards the end of the day so that it's not overlapping kitchen safety. And uh, well, actually, maybe we do just put it down there and then they work through the rest of the day. That might be the way to go for it. Uh, but what we will have to do is go to deployment and then during the day we're going to want to have some guards sort of patrolling this space a little bit so we'll do a patrol there and we'll do a patrol here and i think honestly i want two guards i want, I want four guards in there because that's potentially going to have a lot of prisoners and it's also a room with a lot of things that could murder someone so we we want to be safe about it is is what i'm thinking and also, this, our prisoners look a little untidy thing keeps popping up. So I have, I have a feeling that the laundry is absolutely not big enough. But that's something I'll get to a little bit later. Because what I do want to do is go ahead and connect this door control system to these servos down here. And I'm also thinking we probably need a servo on the infirmary as well. So let's go ahead and get that one in there as quickly as we can. We've also got one prisoner coming in shortly. That's okay. Uh, I want to get this servo in here so we can get the infirmary doors nicely controlled. So if I connect this guy to here, I'm also going to connect this guy to all of these servos here as well. So that gives this guy, I don't know how many connections, but then this one can be connected to... So these are controlled, these are controlled, that's controlled. Uh, this one, this one... And this one we're probably going to want to say here 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 and here and then i'm going to want to swap out the door for the workshop to be a regular door that uh, we can put a servo on as well so let's dismantle that door please let's do it nice and quickly hopefully oh we got these guys working already lovely so that should mean that we're able to make some money there which is exactly what we want to do i'm also pretty sure i saw this guy walk out with a screwdriver we we might want to let me just, let me, let me just, uh, let me just search this guy real quick. Because I have a feeling he had a screwdriver there. He did. I absolutely did see that. <laughs> I love that. That is genuinely one of my favorite things. You just see a prisoner casually walking out of a, a workshop with a screwdriver. That's kind of great. I've also realized that something that would help my prison dearly is uh, metal detectors. I haven't got any anywhere right now, and we really should we really should get our hands on some of those as quickly as possible. Start putting them in all of the corridors and the just everywhere anyone can go. It's just metal detector, metal detector, metal detector. It would help. It really would. If I was to put like two here, two here, two here, and two here, they couldn't leave the cell block without going through a metal detector. And honestly, that seems like it would be the smart thing to do. So I might, I might have to do that. I'll be honest. I might, I might have to do that. I might have to look into that. Because it would likely, oh my god, they keep overdosing as well. It would likely help. I've just realized we should probably put some flooring down in all of the cells. I just don't know what I would do. I don't think we need mosaic floor. We don't need them to move fast. And to be completely honest things like concrete floor it's you walk fast on it and it sort of makes sense for the cells the tiles are also kind of fast i guess we'll go tiles i guess we'll throw some tiles down just to make this look a little bit different and we'll see how that turns out for us it might look silly it might not but it's what we'll go for 
And I'm also thinking, I want to come down here and change out the garbage and exports area. So if I go to exports and I just delete uh, both. I'm going to pause while I do this, though. Because my thinking here is that we could do something kind of interesting, I suppose. Uh, so if I make, like, whatever this is, 14 by... We don't need a 14 by 14 exports area, let's be completely honest, but let's do a 14 by 10 exports area. And then next to it, I want to do garbage. And I'm going to say garbage is going to be here. And that is 12 by... Well, we could do 12 by 12 if we really wanted to. That might be kind of silly. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go for 12 by 11. And that'll be all right. And then what I want to do is I want to come down here with, I guess, some brick wall. I guess I actually want to come down here with some foundations first. So I want to do... Oh, how am I going to do this? I might have to do this slightly differently. Um, I want to do this, right? I want a secondary little corridor right there. And then I want to come straight down here to the road. And I want to come straight down here to the road. And I'm basically thinking that we bring this perimeter wall. Maybe not even a perimeter wall. Although we probably do have the money to get away with it. Uh, let's see. Do I? Eh, sure. Let's, let's, let's say yes. Right? Let's say yes to that. Um, basically, I want to do this. I want to just enclose those a little bit. And then if we go to doors, we can throw a road gate uh, right here. And we can also go to objects and grab some lights so we can say, you know, uh, green lights on this side. We can say red lights on this side. We can say dismantle that light. And that should be fine. So that'll be something. It'll be a different way to do exports and garbage. We can pave over those areas as well with some, uh, some gravel, I guess. Some lovely, <laughs> some lovely gravel. Lovely bit of gravel. Love a bit of gravel. And that'll be fine. So that's, that's what I'm thinking for that space. I think that'll be pretty good. And we should also, while I'm here, we really should, uh, try and get, uh, get some door servos on these, uh, these gates because that's going to make those a little bit more efficient as well. So I'll go ahead and throw a servo there. I actually want to prioritize those because they are kind of a big deal. And again, that, that should just help make everything a bit more efficient. And that's kind of what we want. I'm also realizing we don't have a lot of janitors. We have like three prisoners that are working to clean the place and two janitors. We probably just want a bigger laundry room and a bigger cleaning cupboard, huh? That's, I think that is what we're going to have to do here. But I want to do this first. And there we go. We have the exports area. We have the garbage area. I think it looks pretty decent. We've also got all the servos hooked up and working. So vehicles can get through here without too much hassle. We're getting some money from some trees that I told my workers to go and chop down. So I guess at this point, what we want to do is look into expanding the cleaning cupboard and the laundry. Because frankly, it's, it's not... It's not good. And apparently my prisoners need sleep. That's a tricky one. They have beds. They just don't really seem to want to use them. And I, for the life of me, cannot figure out why. Although I will say, they seem to be happier than they were. They haven't rioted in about five minutes, which, in fairness to them, is a new record. So, it's not bad. That's, that's a pretty good, uh, <laughs> it's a start, is what it is. It's a start, and I'll take it.